everyone. In this video, we are supposed to talk about three important points of schedules. The first one is finding the problems. For example, we are going to check the stairs that their height isn't more or less than a limit. So I uh, click on stairs and then I add actual riser height to this part. Now, if you want to analyze the floor of the stairs, you can add actual thread depth to this part as well, like this. You can add family and type to this part as well. And then I go to this tab, classify them, family and type, actual riser height, and actual thread depth. Well, I don't want to deselect this itemize every instance. Since I want the stairs to be one by one, so that when I find it, I could find its accurate place. After you did click on OK, you may have this schedule like this. That some of their actual riser heights is not acceptable for you, but some of them it is. OK, assume that we don't want the height of our stairs to be more than 18 centimeters or less than 15 centimeters. In order to do that, you should go to this formatting tab and then you should click on this conditional format. You should be aware of that, what items you are working on as you are clicking on this conditional format. Okay, as it is actual riser height, we want, uh, yes, we want this test to be between. Okay, let me click on it. Uh, all right here. So we want uh, from 15 meters, pay attention to the unit, uh, 15 hundredth and 18 hundredth. And choose a color for those ones, it finds them. For example, I click on this and select orange. Yes. When I click on OK here, you can see those ones that are in our period get orange. And those ones that are not in our period, they don't get orange. For example, here 14 and 20, they are not orange. And, uh, you know, you're able to do that on the contrary. That means you can click on here and select not between. And you may have uh, less colorful items. And those ones that are not in our period get orange. Hence, you are able to find the problems of your project. For example, some walls that their thickness is more than a limit. Or some doors that their width is more than a limit. Okay, the second point is adding some mathematical operations. For example, we need to get the perimeter of a window. And we know that Revit doesn't give it to us. So click on Windows and Family Type. Let's add it to this part. And then Width. After that, Height. Here. Good. Uh, okay. We know that it gives Width and Height to us, but it doesn't give Perimeter. For example, we need its Perimeter for Subframes. I deselect Itemize and I want it to make separate by Family and Type. And then by width and height, okay. Okay, let's check this out. You're able to add count here as well, like that. And let's make it be up, good. Now we need to calculate perimeter. In order to do that, you should add height to width, then multiply it by two. So get to this part, and in order to add a parameter, you should click on this FX and write a name for your parameter, which is perimeter. And you should select uh, something for its type. I want to select uh, length. Well, here, its discipline doesn't matter. If it is special, you can dedicate it or let it be uncommon. All right, about its formula, uh, you should add here from these parameters that we have here. Yes, width plus height here. And in order to multiply all of it by two, you should 
and uh, put it in parentheses okay multiply it by two and if we click on it and here there you go we have this perimeter here as well now if you want to get the total perimeter of all the windows you should click on formatting tab and perimeter here and calculate totals but if you want to get uh, the perimeter of each one of them separately you should go here and select no calculations all right but for all of them you should select calculate totals all right the third and the last point this project has a lot of shits basically when we want to make a shit we right click here and new shit we have a lot of models of it here so we can choose whatever type we want for example when you need 300 sheets it's a time consuming job well a schedules here is useful for you again click on sheet list it doesn't matter which parameter you select but in order to make separate with this here i choose sheets name for it all right well they have a specific name well I assume that you are supposed to add 100 more sheets to it so instead of clicking on new sheet you should click on insert data row so the more you click on it the more it adds for you and you don't need to click on new sheet again and again and let me show you as you can see uh, they're here yes when you go to this part new sheet you can see they were added here the model that you need for your sheets you should select it here and then you should select all of them here and click on OK and many blank sheets will be added here 